hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to talk about and see the string data structure in python okay so first of all we will see that how you can create and print our strings so for that you can just simply create a variable and in that variable you can write anything which you want so now you have created your string now it's time for printing it so you can directly print by using the print function and inside the print function you have to directly write the name of the variable and your value will get printed now you can directly use the print function also to print some value suppose you want to print hey How are you so you can directly print that also okay using the print function now moving forward at example 2 that how a string concatenation is performed for that I'm creating one creating variable greeting and then I'll create name and suppose ls and I have to add these two different variables in one so what I will do I'll create one more variable that is full and in that I'm going to write first the greeting then using the plus operator means the addition operator then I'll give a space between them and then I'll write the name and then I'll print full and hello Alice they both have been added into one variable that is full and then you can print full and you will see hello Alice together they are getting printed together okay now moving forward to example 3 that is in string indexing and slicing now yes you can perform indexing and slicing both in the string because strings are in Python strings are also the sequence of characters so they are also a sequence so whenever anything is a sequence so indexing and slicing uh, are the advantages which comes with them so in a string we can perform the indexing and slicing so now one more thing in a string uh, the indexing is performed and if you want to access the first alphabet means the first word in your string so you will access with it writing zero means it starts from zero till the last number it is going okay so we'll see with the example so suppose we have to print suppose we have to print the first care so what we will do we will first access our variable my string and then using the square braces and uh, I have told already that if you want to first if you want to access the first word or the first alphabet in your string so it is present at the zero index so you will write zero here and now it's time for printing it so you will print first care okay just correct me the spelling yeah first care and when you will print so h is getting printed okay now if you want to access the last care so you can perform indexing in two ways from the starting and from the last also now from the starting we have seen indexing starts from zero in Python now if you want to access from the last so from if you want to access from last then minus one means the last value in the string is present at the place minus one so as you can see uh, we have in my string hello Python is there so it is giving us n because at the last place minus one is present so on if you want to uh, print the second last value so we'll write minus two so o will get print okay so this was indexing indexing in string now you'll see slicing so now what is slicing so in the indexing we were able to only 
find one value at a time now suppose if you want to find multiple values at a time then slicing comes so if you want to uh, access multiple values together then you have to use the slicing thing and now we'll see that how you can perform slicing so suppose we want to access a substring from our string my string so we will just name our variable substring and then we'll write my string square braces and suppose we want to access this python we want to print this python so we'll count that this p is present at the seventh place and n is present at the twelfth place so what we are going to do we will simply write seven then followed by your colon we are going to write twelve and then you will print substring <laughs> now you will notice that n is not get printed only p by t h o is getting printed n is not getting printed why because because we have written 12 now one more thing is uh, comes here that is uh, whenever you are writing the starting part means if you are writing the starting index that where to start from so the starting index is inclusive so what happens that if you are writing 7 so it will include 7 means it will include the 7th index so p will get printed but in the ending part if you are writing 12 means n was n is present at 12th place but if you are writing 12 so because the ending part is exclusive so whatever you will write it will print till 11 only because 12 is exclusive so if you want to print till n so you have to write here 13 because n is present at 12 so you will write one greater value 13 here and now n will also get printed so the ending part is exclusive okay now this was indexing and slicing in a string how they are performed now we'll move forward and we will see string methods now in a string there are many methods uh, which are present in a string we'll see couple of them so first we'll see converting to lowercase and uppercase how we can do that so first of all we'll start with the lowercase so we'll create a variable lowercase and then we'll access our string and then using the dot operator we are going to use the method lower and when i'll print the lowercase so you will see h and p means all the alphabets present in our string has been converted to lowercase okay now it's time for the uppercase so we'll access our string and using the dot operator we'll use the method upper and then you will print and you will see that hello python all the alphabet present in our string my string has been converted into upper cases okay then there is finding the length so there is a universal method for finding the length that is the length length function okay so how you have to use is first you write the length function and inside the function you have to write the name of your string which length you want to know and then you'll print that variable like this so total 13 characters are there so 39 is our value now you can check checking the starts with now there is one more thing uh, that there are methods to check that whether your uh, string is starting from that thing or ending with that thing or not if that particular uh, string is starting with that particular word or character then it will print to or it will print false same goes with ends with also now we'll see how you can use, uh, use that so first we'll create a variable start and in my string dot starts with and inside it you have to write suppose you want to check for that it is starting from hello or not so you'll write hello and then end And we want to check it that it is ending from uh, python or not okay
and then we will use the f string to print it and we will print that start with hello so print start and end with python then print end now you will see it starts with hello so yes it is true so it is given true ends with python so again it is true so it will give true now if i'll remove one n from here so we will get a false value because it is not ending with n so that's why the value will be changed to false so again i'll add n to it so this is very useful to check if there is a large number of a string and you want to check that it is starting from this and ending from this so this could be it this method could be uh, very useful for that type of uses then at last there is finding the index now this method is also very useful because this method will directly tell you that that particular character or that particular word is present at which index okay so that method name is find inside the find suppose i want to find the index value of p or suppose python So what you have to do you have to create a variable then you have to write this name of your string then using the dot operator you will use the method find and inside the method you will write in the double quotes you will write the name of the word which index you want to find and then you will print that variable index and yes python is starting from the seventh index okay so you will directly get that particular index value and you can do the slicing and you can change the value also directly Okay, now we'll move forward and we'll see string formatting that how we can access string formatting. So first you will see string formatting using F strings. So for that I'll create one name, name variable and then I'll create a age variable 25 like this. And after that what I have to do, I'll just simply Mm, create a formatted variable and in that I'm going to use the f string now whenever you are using f string and what is the use of f string is that first this is the syntax for f string the double quotes and before the double quotes are starting you have to write f and remember there will be no gap between the double quote a starting double quote and the f okay and then you'll write my name is then curly braces inside the curly braces you can write your name of the variable and I am age years old like this so my name is Python and I am 25 years old so now this is very a useful method for printing if you have to print multiple variables inside your uh, inside your string so this is a very user friendly method and then is one and then there is one more method that is using the format method so it follows the same technique that my name is but rather than writing writing the name of the variable inside you just leave a space there in uh, you just take a blank curly braces at the place you want your values to be get printed and then coming out of the double quote you use using the uh, dot operator you use a method that is a format that name of the method is format and inside the method you write the values which you want to add at that places where you have leave a blank curly space and then you're going to write print the format method and the same values you get print now only thing which I don't like about this format method is that it doesn't know about the values so if you have any mistake in giving these values wrong means if you giving this position wrong 
if you are giving the position wrong that here uh my name is so name should get print first and a should get print at the last but if you are uh, making a mistake you are writing age first and name at the last then what will happen the values will be interchanged the my name is 25 and i am python years old Th uh, this value will get okay so this is how you can use string formatting to add va different variables in your uh, string now we'll see about the scape characters that what are the scape characters so if you remember there were backslash n then there were backslash t backslash v these things so obviously backslash n is used for new line for generating a new line and backslash t gives us a tabular space now if you want to use this escape characters so what you can do so suppose there is a string that this is this is a new line and then after that backslash n and this is second line like this and when you will print it so whenever you want that your string should get printed in two or three lines so you can use this black slash n and it will do its job but or you can directly write but there is one more condition that suppose you want to print this backslash n as a character you don't want this backslash n to do its job to create a new line you want it to uh, get printed as a normal character so what you will do then you can use raw string now what is raw string escape raw and in that i'll just copy paste the same line like this and in the starting part just like the f string you will add r to the starting double quote and remember there will be no gap and now when you will print okay you have to print it also so escape raw yeah so now you'll notice this black slash n hasn't printed as a normal character and it's not doing it's not doing its job so this is because we have used this r raw string so it converts the string to raw values means it disables the functions of black slash n black slash t and all okay so it will uh, when you are using the raw string then backslash n will also act as a normal character okay nor it will work its uh function it will not create a new line it will also be get printed as a normal character so this was all about the string data structures we have seen methods indexing slicing concatenation creating and printing a string so i hope you like this video uh, thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video